Hello everyone and welcome to the 2014 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey and my co-host for this great event this year is Judy Davids. Judy, how are you this morning? I'm great, I'm great. I'm really excited about the start of the parade. We have a great crowd, great weather. People started showing up at 7.30 setting up their lawn chairs. So. Yes, right, they did indeed. They, uh, they've they got great locations here along the street. And uh, let's remember what we're here for. It's Memorial Day, some called it Decoration Day, but we're here to honor the troops, both past and present. So uh, great solemn event for that, Judy. Yeah, and you know what? I think I hear the police uh, behind us, get, so we're just about ready to get started. We'll be back right after these messages. Hey, what's that pin you're wearing? On oh, this? I wear it to remember my dad. He was in the Army. I wear this pin for my husband, who was killed in action. My son served his country proudly. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him. She was my wife and best friend. Remember, respect, and honor our fallen military heroes and the sacrifice and strength of surviving families who wear the gold star pins. Welcome back to the 2014 Memorial Day Parade. Once again, I'm Andy Aubrey with Judy Davids. And Judy, we got a parade. We do, we do. We are starting off with the Royal Oak City Commission and the mayor. There they are. The mayor is actually here today holding the flag um, uh, from his father. Yes, and we'll be seeing that throughout the parade. Uh, folks carrying the flag, a folded flag to commemorate family members of theirs who uh, served. Right, that's, that's new this year. And um, also, we're introducing some flag etiquette this year. People are being asked to stand when they see the American flag go by, and you can see everybody's done that right now. As always, the Royal Oak Police start us off. There's a siren. I think they're after you, Judy. <laughs> you haven't done I anything wrong, not. have you? I hope not. I hope not. Okay. <laughs> this is the honor guard. We're uh, seeing behind this first brand new Royal Oak Police. Yeah, they're really a mainstay at all these parades. <laughs> Behind the honor guard is Chief O'Donohue. And he's here with two of his eight kids, Kean and Brady. It looks so official. Get all the formal finery out in force today. Behind the police department is the Royal Oak Fire Department. Not sure, I don't see Chief oh! Chuck, Chuck Thomas, but I'm sure he's here somewhere. I hope he's not out fighting a fire. I, ho I hope not too, that would I mean, be awful. Of all times, right? That would be awful. The fire department last year celebrated their 100th anniversary, so... Yeah, I did see that. In fact, the side of the uh, fire truck has that little marker on it. I don't know if they realize what those sirens do to our audio in the truck, okay? That is murder inside, <laughs> but uh, the kids love it. It's a big machine. Next up, we have uh, the American Legion, post 253. Now, in front of the American Legion, we have a white Corvette that will oh, come into view right. soon. Now, this is the beauty of doing these parades, Judy. They throw you curveballs at the last right. second, and we Here's, have our Grand Marshal. That's right. Um, this is Carl Chapman. He was, uh, uh, he's a Vietnam veteran. And he actually started the uh, American Legion Riders here in Royal Oak. And we're really lucky to have him at Grand Marshal today. He gets to ride in a white Corvette, very nice. Very nice for him. And these are the American Legion Riders. Gosh, how many are there? There's 
Looks like there's a couple dozen of them. I do too. Is there an earthquake or the premium <laughs> riders? And I think you'll agree there's nothing quite like a lady on a Harley. Right. There's a couple of them out there. So we are in we're in ad lib mode early on here. Yeah. Uh, earlier than usual in the parade, I might say. We've got a little gap here before we get to uh, our next attraction of this parade. Which This I'm is actually the American uh, Legion Cub Scout Pack. Cub Scout Pack sixteen oh four. They're led by uh, Scoutmaster Brian Beer. They were founded nearly 93 years ago. We had uh, American Legion Post 253 came by us there as well. And there are still a few attractions here from them. See some of the veterans. Next we have um that's the World War II Legacy Memorial after that uh, powder blue bu uh, Buick that we had. I don't think that young girl in the red hair was a World War II veteran. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the, right now we're seeing the um, Honor Flight Legacy Project. They're led by Rick Sage. Um, the Honor Flight is known for making the dreams of hundreds of World War II veterans come true by providing free of charge trips to, Wash to the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's a tremendous program. Uh, back in the days of the Royal Oak Show, we had some of the uh, organizers of that outstanding effort. And it's the men that went back to Washington. Yeah. It's Just it brought them to tears to come to that memorial and remember their days. Um, and which is really what we're here for today is to honor these folks uh, past, especially the past troops. Some of these gentlemen fought in World War II. And Coming up next, it looks like we have a pair of poppy queens. The girls look beautiful. They do, and they've perfected their wave. <laughs> they got yes, the light bulb the thing elbow, going. Elbow, wrist, wrist. <laughs> Excellent form. <laughs> Fantastic. And then behind them, we have the Disabled American Veterans. That's the chapter uh, 19 from South Oakland. The DAV was founded in 1920, and uh, their major function is to provide assistance to other veterans. Members have served in all of the military branches, World War II, as well as Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan.
coming up right behind them, we have the Royal Canadian Legion. Uh, the, the color guard for the Legion represents the Canadian Legions, and that's from Canada. Are, have been a staple in this parade for years. We love Canada, don't we? We do love Canada. Where would we be without Canada? We'd have a whole lot less hockey, I know that. <laughs> it's a few of the youngsters taking in the sights and sounds here in downtown oh, Royal Oak. Look at her clap. <laughs> <laughs> How precious is that? I have to say, people have gotten the message on standing for the flag. Even though yeah. they were only supposed to stand for the first one, they're standing for all of them. I don't remember a parade, and I've and, called about 20 of these that everyone is, is standing And they're on putting the their route. hands over their hearts. They're, it's really great. That is good. We need to get back to a little more patriotism around these parts in this country, and uh, no better time than today to do it. Now, uh, now uh, we see we have some uh, military vehicles from 1953 Korean War. Right, that's uh, the Willys Jeep. They're driven by Bill, uh, who is that? Iramishku and his honored passenger, Afghanistan veteran David Gallagher, a wounded two-time veteran of the Iraqi war. And we also have the Kerr brothers. Now the Kerrs have been a part of this parade, Judy, for many, many years. In fact, they were Grand Marshals a number of years back. And uh, we will tell you a little story about them. They are uh, members of the Chippewa tribe of Sault Ste. Marie. They've served our country well. Members of the family here today are Tom Kerr, uh, Da Nang from Da Nang, uh, Vietnam, John Kerr, Marine Corps uh, from 66 to 67. Harvey was in in 67. Brian Yeager, U.S. Army Gulf War veteran, and Matt Kerr did two tours in Afghanistan. Also, we have Herbie Hotz, Korean veteran, and the Kerrs are marching today in memory of Michael Kerr from the Army in 68, who died in 2009. And, the car was a 2009 and, Mustang. Right, and what we're hearing right now is the U.S. Army band. They're here for the first time. They sounded great, didn't they? Fantastic. Here we have Matthew Har Hargraves coming up. They have a couple of folded flags in their vehicle. Again, that's new this year. People were invited to bring folded flags to the parade. While we have a little gap here, we'll tell you that uh, Memorial Day was declared a national holiday in 1971 by Congress and is celebrated the last Monday in May. Veterans Day is a day set aside to honor all veterans, living and dead. And each year it's celebrated on November 11th. There you see a few of the folks in the crowd, plenty of children out. Maybe one of our nicest days ever here. Yeah, it's just fabulous weather. I think it might rain later today, but it's just beautiful to right now. Next up, we have the Fraternal Order of Eagles, the Airy Auxiliary 2092. Well, they are led by Roger Coddington. They've been in Royal Oak for 86 years, Judy. Oh, my goodness. And they brought a couple of uh, cute walkers with them. <laughs> there they are. 
The Bulldogs. Yeah. The Bulldog Patrol. Coming into view now is the uh, Royal Oak Knights of Columbus. The Knights have been an active fraternal organization supporting Royal Oak communities since 1925. The city is, uh, is um, supported by two councils, actually. There's the Bishop Gallagher uh, Council, and then there's one at the National Shrine of the Little Flower. I like the white poof on top of the hat. <laughs> it's such do a good too. look for them. Not uh, everybody can pull that off. <laughs> no, that is a really good look. And, it, and now we have Sheriff uh, Mike Richard. He's the 41st Sheriff of Oakland County. And today he's accompanied uh, by, well, what? He's got the motorcycle yeah, fellas out yeah. there. They also got the, the Marine unit. We got a boat coming up. They're still looking for water. Um, <laughs> Lake Royal Oak is just over there, guys. <laughs> right. There's Sheriff Bouchard waving to the people, his, his constituents. They have so many toys. They do. They do. They have a lot of toys. And, you know, they're very beneficial to the uh, Royal Oak Police Department. They've been here a couple of times helping out with investigations. Well, they have the resources. They sure do. And we will see Sheriff Bouchard over in Beverly Hills. He does about five parades today. Oh, my goodness. He is all over Oakland County. He's got a lot of energy. I don't think he's taking the boat over there, <laughs> but um, he may hop in that Hummer. And that Hummer is de donated by the Department of Defense to Oakland County. And you do not want to open up your front window and see that parked on your front lawn. I can guarantee it, it's a bad day for you then. And right after the sheriff, we have Oakland County Prosecutor Jessica Cooper. She was the first um, woman elected to hold this position, and she was elected in 2008. And she, let's see, she's probably coming into view right now. There she is. She's marching today with a dog. She has a legion of hundreds on yeah. her side. <laughs> she sure does. And after Jessica Cooper is the Oakland County Parks attraction, they're bringing the recreation to you. The unique entertainment on wheels mobile recreation program is expanding to offer a variety of activities for our recreation needs. Today they're here to honor our veterans. And there's a rock climbing wall. I think it would be easier to climb the wall when it's horizontal <laughs> like that. I think so too. That would I be so how too. I would prefer it. Um, Yes, right. I could scale that no problem um, versus if it was vertical. But okay, who's behind the Oh, we rocks? have the Royal Oak Ravens Marching Band led by director Dave Jensen. There's more than 70 marchers today. This band has been part of the parade for decades. sound good they do sound good 
Well, behind the band, what's a band without a football team? Exactly. <laughs> and we have the Royal Oak Ravens football team. They're and led by a new, they have a new coach this year, Andy, Tim Chapman. He's the new football coach at the high school. And they have a huge American flag with about 40 of the players carrying it. You see coming by your TV screen now. That's like the flag that flies off the front of your house, isn't it, Judy? Yeah, it's a little smaller. A little so bit smaller? A little bit smaller. <laughs> well, you know, I don't want to overdo it uh, for the parade. Like, uh, you don't seem to mind doing it at your home. But that's uh, the patriotism you seem to promote, so good for you. All right, then after that, we have the Ezra Parker chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. And these are uh, longtime participants in the parade. Yeah, they're marching today uh, with their president, Wendy Hill. The, the chapter was actually founded in 1927 and is named after Ezra Parker, a revolutionary soldier who's buried right here in Royal Oak. And every member is a direct descendant of a soldier who served in the American Revolution. And that is a beautiful car they have. Do you know your cars? I don't know. I do. That's a that? 1938 Chrysler Royal Touring Sedan. Beautiful. And that car has been in their family since it was new, actually. So. And they're followed by the um, Ancient Order of Hiberians. Right. That's the Norman O'Brien Division here in Oakland County. And they are also extremely active in the community and have been so for more than 40 years. The AOH was actually formed in Iowa. <laughs> Iowa. In Iowa. Iowa. Ireland. <laughs> in, in 1500. I remember that. <laughs> Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> you were there. Oh. Yeah, you want to get out of the way of that bus on St. Patrick's Day, by the way. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure that's where a lot of people have seen that bus. It's in the St. Patrick's Day parade here in Royal. <laughs> It's always, um, you, we see that bus in, at the St. Patrick's Day Parade here in Royal Oak, and we also see it in Detroit. Oh, this is so much fun. There we go. We have the <laughs> Optimist Club right now. They're shouting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Things are looking up. I hope folks at home realize we're having as much fun watching the parade as we are <laughs> describing it to you. Yeah, the Optimists were formed in 1935, and they are dedicated to being a friend of youth. And they, they actually are great sponsors uh, to the Boys and Girls Club, and that is why we have the Boys and Girls Club uh, bus here following them. Now, after the bus, we have the Royal Oak is Trendy. The Royal Oak is History a Historical Society. And I think that does sum up Royal Oak, doesn't it? It's trendy. It's yeah, historical. Yeah, it's right. There's you that know, balance. It's, yeah, Royal Oak is 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 you know it's a little bit like you said it's a little bit trendy. It's a little bit it's a little bit like being uh, in a metropolis, but then it also has it's charming. Our neighborhoods are very charming and quaint. So I like their outfits too. Great outfits. Oh yeah. Yeah, Those would be more the historical than trendy, <laughs> I think. Very, very festive. There you see a few of the parade watchers doing an excellent job of watching. They are. Yep and doing an excellent job of standing when they see the American flag. And there's a lot of American flags out today. In fact, we were just brought one by the Honorable First Lady of Royal Oak, Miss Jody Ellison, in the, on the uh, podium behind us with all the other luminaries of Royal Oak. Well, we have a quick break, but there's the uh, drum messengers coming up behind. Rob Schneider and Mike Rayner of the U.S. Army, veterans from 63 to 65, and...
They're known as the Drum Messengers. After the Drum Messengers, we have the banner of the Royal Oak Restaurant Association. And they are sponsors and supporters of the parade. There's a lot of good restaurants here in Royal Oak. Are you aware of that, Judy? <laughs> yes, I, yes, unfortunately, my waistline is aware of that, too. <laughs> well, you have to try them all. <laughs> you do. It's a you slight do. There, And there's a little bit of everything. It's amazing. And after the restaurant tours is the, uh, the uh, retailer's banner as well. And then we have some We Girl have some Scouts. Girl Scouts yeah. from Shrine Catholic School. There, um, there's about 50 girls marching in the parade today. And after them, the Brownies, 75330 from Northwood Elementary. And they're singing. Thanks. <laughs> Very cute. And do we have Oak Ridge Elementary after? That's what it says. 75029, fourth graders. Been in our parade many, many years. Not these girls, per se, because they grow up and they move on. <laughs> The years go by, the waving is constant. And then we have the Calliope music in here. Dave and Vicki Banks from Brown City, Michigan. That, that um, is actually an authentic 1900-era circus calliope. Yeah, that... that Calliope is actually um, an authentic 1900-era circus calliope. It's operated uh, by Dave and Vicki Banks. She's the one that's playing it. And a, and a calliope will wreak havoc on your audio inside <laughs> of a production truck. I'll tell you that. <laughs> It so must be the I, so shrill nature of it, but um, <laughs> you know you can have all the marching bands you want and talk right through it. But you bring a calliope in, it'll throw the whole thing out of whack. <laughs> and now we have their uh, next up is uh, Cub Scout Pack 1631 from Oak Ridge Elementary, and they're followed by Cub Scout Pack 1634 from Shrine Catholic Grade School. And their scoutmaster is Philip Sobeck. And the boys are doing a good job of handing out flags to uh, people here in the audience. Following them is uh, Boy Scout Troop 1707. And they're from all over. Troy, Rochester Hills, Auburn Hills, Sterling Heights, and Birmingham. Leadership includes Chris Mitchell, who is a veteran of the US Navy. And some of the other dads. 1707's got a big operation going on. They've yeah. got uh, trucks and trailers and everything else. Well, let's see. Can we give out a few more fun yeah, facts about Memorial Day? We've got a quick break here. WROK has been covering Memorial Day Parade since 1982. How, how many years have you been? Oh, uh, not many. Only about 18 or 19. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a newbie at this. Um, glad to have you here, by the way. Oh, your first. Okay. This is my first. Uh, maybe your last after you've worked <laughs> with me. But, um, you know, uh, Memorial Day, again, we, we mentioned this at the opening of the broadcast. Originally, it was known as Decoration Day. And that was what my grandparents always called it. Because... I always heard Memorial Day, Memorial Day, and they'd say, well, it's going to be Decoration Day. And I'd say, well, wh what's that? You know, oh, no, that's Memorial Day. Okay. But it originally was time set aside to honor the nation's Civil War dead by decorating their graves. So the, hence the term Decoration Day. 
And it was first widely observed uh, on May 30th of 1868 to commemorate the sacrifices of the Civil War soldiers by proclamation of General John A. Logan of the Grand Army of the Republic. So there you go. Uh, coming up right now, we have the Little Oaks Co-ops Preschool. This is a preschool for three to five-year-olds, and there, there are about 30 families in this school out here today to honor our fallen heroes. And right ahead of them was uh, was uh, Cub Scout Pack 1627 from Keller, and those boys all decorated their bikes. And after some of these Cub Scouts, we're going to have the Shrine Highlander Bagpipe and Drums of Detroit, and they're going to drown us out any second. So we will step back for just a second and listen to the outstanding sounds of the bagpipers. Here they are. This group, the Highlanders, was chartered in uh, 1959, and they're an in-demand parade band supporting uh, the Shrine Hospitals for crippled and burned children. is also recognized in the community through our many their many performances and competitions. And now this is this is a, a first time to have uh, Miss South Central Michigan in the Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Um, right there, we have. Miss Carly Rowley is yep. there. Yep, and the first truck was, uh, our first car was Vanessa Chambi. She's a senior at Lakeshore High School. Carly, uh, she's a sophomore at Central Michigan University. And they all competed uh, for the title of Miss South Central Michigan in June, or the, the next competition is in June. And following them was Jim Townsend, state representative. Here's He's him. in his second term of service to our community with his wife, Jenny. And the two sons live here in Royal Oak. We thank Jim for his service. And a Matthews Hargraves convertible again, mm -hmm. the bright yellow. And following Representative Townsend is are the uh, Levin brothers. The Levin brothers have been here every single parade every single one these guys are fantastic had the pleasure of interviewing both on occasion and it would not be a royal oak memorial day parade without the levin brothers shaking hands and waving to the folks carl always seems to have his tiger hat on and sander two gentlemen that have dedicated their lives to serving in here, here they, Congress and Senate. Coming into the shot right now, you there can see they them. Are. They they stop by the uh, to uh, greet the uh, mayor and the city commission. Oh sure, they they stop and shake <laughs> their hand. They didn't stop and say hi to us. That's fine. They're busy guys. I'm sure they have more than one parade themselves a day. And then uh, uh, we have the. Uh, well, let me see. That's the Royal Oak Crime Prevention. Council McGruff, where's McGruff? There he is. McGruff is waving to the masses. They do a great, great job. The Crime Prevention Council. Now, after McGruff, we have a number of people holding pictures of their loved ones, uh, veterans. A lot of waving going on, <laughs> and many flags being carried. As we mentioned, those flags are signifying uh, the dearly departed who have served in the military. Yeah, this is actually, um, that group is actually St. Mary's Catholic Church. They're led by Father Steve Wortman. And that was a really nice touch, bringing all those photographs. I don't know if that dog was in the military. <laughs> Could have been a minesweeper. <laughs> Could have been. You're very silly. Isn't that awful? I'm sorry. I don't mean to uh, 
to uh, diminish the <laughs> solemnity of the event, but it is a parade after all. <laughs> Motor City Auto Spa here. They do expert auto detailing here in Royal Oak. Yeah. You know, uh, Memorial Day is also celebrated at Arlington National Cemetery with a very solemn ceremony. Usually about 5,000 people attend that annually. Wow. Do you hear that? I do. Andy? I hear, I hear do you drums. you hear that coming? We better music. say who it is before we get drowned out here. Well, who is it? This is the Royal Oak Middle School Marching Band. These are There's 175 7th and 8th graders. They're the Marching Bulldogs. Let's listen to them. After the middle school marching band, we have the Wahoo Baseball Club of Royal Oak. And they're actually, uh, they play by 1860 rules. And they actually have a, a game at Star JC Park today at noon. You know a little bit about those Wahooers, don't you? I do. My husband plays. Uh-huh. Okay. And then, and then after the baseball team, we have uh, kids that on their bikes. These kids uh, spent the past uh, weekend decorating their bikes and they're really cute. They got the streamers, they get the wheels all yeah, done off. Yeah, yeah. You know, they did it for years and then they stopped it and they and they brought it back and it seems to be very popular again. And it's a good way to get into a parade as well. You have bike, <laughs> right. will enter parade. <laughs> right. And we are getting near wrapping this thing up. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, it's like Christmas. You know, you get all geared up, and then boom, it's over it's with. It's so, over. But um, yeah, I could do this all day long, especially on a gorgeous day like this. And the police start us off. The police end us up. And after the bicyclist, we see a Royal Oak police car who's trying desperately to keep people off the parade route, even though it's just about over with. We're gonna wrap this thing up here now uh, with our friend Brian who is our cameraman, and Judy, I'll tell you what, this has been an outstanding event. Great to work it with you, yeah. and uh, what do you think? Uh, it was great. It, it, it was, uh, I, I like the some of the new things they've introduced. You know, the parade committee works on this all year long. Every year they try to improve it and make it the premier event it is, and I think they did some, had some nice touches today with the parades and people standing when they saw the American flag. It was really great. It really, really was. And uh, we thank you folks for watching as well. And let's remember what the event about, is about. It's Memorial Day. It's to honor our fallen veterans and uh, the heroes who have made this country as great as it is. So for Richard Wilson in the truck and all of our fine audio and video people working this event, and for Judy Davis, we'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Andy Aubrey, and we hope to see you next year at the 2015 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Thank you again for watching.